It is that time of the show when we say hello to our favorite health and wellness expert, Stephanie Peters, who is a co-owner of the Eden Day Spa and Wellness Center. And every week you share with us tips about how we yes. can lead a happier and healthier life. Mm -hmm. Here's a big one that okay. we could probably do a whole full show segment on. Okay. Healthy eating. I, I, we all have bits and pieces of that puzzle. I don't think any of us have the whole puzzle. Mm -hmm. Some of us think to eat healthy takes a lot more time and effort. What's the reality? Well, the first thing I always tell people is you can't out supplement a bad diet. So you want to make sure you have good supplementation into your diet. But just looking and starting to read ingredients and learning to know what you're looking for. So, you know, white refined sugars and flours, knowing all the different names for MSG. Shopping around the perimeter of your grocery store is going to be your best bet. Des describe that, shopping around the per I've never heard that. I like that. Okay. So when, if you think about the, your grocery store, the produce is around the aisle, your meats. Um, those types of things. In the center of your store are all your processed, uh, boxed, things that can last on the shelf for seven years type food. Okay, or you know, start visiting some of the specialty stores yes. that, that specialize in the, the healthier types of items. Yes, and you can go organic or you cannot. You can lean into that lifestyle. Sometimes people think, oh, I have to eat organic to eat healthy, and that's just not true. You can lean into the lifestyle. But do I have to just go to a diet of just vegetables and salads if I'm going to eat healthy? No, we recommend 50 to 75 percent of your diet is raw fruits and vegetables. But no, you're going to have lean proteins, your chicken and fish. You can even do beef. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't do the beef. But, you know, if you're doing a good, healthy, grass-fed beef, you can do that in moderation. I always say do a little of the real thing in moderation than the fake stuff. And, you know, I've, I've found that just by kind of flopping the diet that I grew up on, yes. which was the you know, traditional meat and potatoes. Yes. And when I'm, say, preparing a meal for my kids or mm -hmm. if I've invited someone over, you know, I'll do the salad. Yes. I'll typically have two vegetables as sides. That's a good idea. And then a smaller portion of meat or fish or fowl. Yes. But that represents the smallest item on the plate. Yes. And I would also recommend um, a lot of people cut uh, fat out of their diet. They think diet and they cut fat out. You cannot have good hormone health and you cannot have good health if you don't have enough omega fatty acids and the good fats in your but diet. Learn the difference between the clean learn fats the between and the ones that aren't clean. Yes. I love coconut oil. Yes. If someone wants more information on this or anything we've talked about, how do they reach you? They would go to our website at edendayspaglandora.com or call us at 626-335-5200. Check out their website. It's a real resource. Talks about classes, seminars, one-on-one -on -one consulting. And stick around. The best part of this show is still yet to come.